has dominated campaign 2000 like Oklahoma. Goes Every vote is a landslide. No matter who's voting. No matter who's counting. No matter how many times they re-vote. The Sooners are number one. Quarterback Josh Heupel now sits atop the Heisman exit polls. He floats passes like butterflies and follows the arrows straight to the end zone. But welcome to Aggieland. Playing in the shadow of the George Bush Library, the wrecking crew is determined to stop the Oklahoma victory march. Today, we promise you a decision. at home. The B-1 Bombers roll overhead. And R.C. Slocum trots onto the field. The number one Oklahoma Sooners, a 10-point favorite at the Texas A&M Aggies. The Sooners of Oklahoma win the toss and defer. So the Aggies of A&M will start first from the 20-yard line with their 25-year-old quarterback, Mark Ferris, bringing his team out. And let's check in on our Chili's starting lineup. Jamar Toombs, big Jamar Toombs. 12 touchdowns this season and only 86 carries. Robert Ferguson, keep an eye on number six's ankle and knee, both injured last week. Torrance Marshall and Rocky Kalmus, the two linebackers that Gary told you about at the top. And Roy Williams, the hard-hitting, strong safety for the Sooners in that secondary. Ferris now brings the Aggie offense to the line of scrimmage. And number 10 immediately deploys a slot to the right. Motion in behind him. And on an end around, Goins with the game's first carry for four yards. This offensive line, Seth McKinney, one-time high school teammate, a Purdue quarterback, Drew Brees, anchors this line, matched against the defensive line, and the Aggie assistants telling us, 94, Ryan Fisher, the left tackle for the Sooners, could be very tough for them to block here today. Goins again, they'll fake it, and Ferris rolls hard to the right, on the run, throws complete. And there is number nine, Bethel Johnson. Prior to the snap, ball start on the offense. It'll be a five-yard penalty. And Let's take a look down. at our... First and 15, three wide outs out to Ferris's left from the shotgun. Here's an option look. Whitaker is stuffed. Second and 17, passing down for the Aggies. They deploy four wide outs. They throw underneath. Ferguson makes his first catch, and he is down. Need 11 yards. Bethel Johnson is off to the right. A slot to the wide side for the Aggies. Good protection for the first down. Incomplete. Had his man. And Cody skates. Punting it. Takes an Aggie hop. Patrick gets out of the way, and this one's down inside the 15-yard line. So Josh Heupel will have to come out. Josh Heupel, the quarterback from Aberdeen, South Dakota, who has led OU to the top of the charts. Incomplete second and ten, and now listen to this crowd as we take a look at our Chili's lineup with Josh Hypo pulling the trigger and Quentin Griffin, his fine running back, number 22, has scored 13 touchdowns. A host of talented wide receivers. We'll see all of them before long in this game. Jason Glenn, he's the linebacker and the brother of the defensive back with the New York Jets. Michael Jamison, the only veteran back in that secondary against Hypo today. They figure to be under fire against number 14 all game long. Three wide receivers. Then they send a back out into the formation. And Heifel throws complete to the near sideline. Fagan makes his first catch of the game for 14 yards. The offensive line of OU, which has done an outstanding job, giving Heifel plenty of time here this season, matched against this Aggie defensive line. And they'll try to come up big. And they're going to sit down often in a four-man defensive line. First down for OU on the 26-yard line. Fagan in motion and they run Griffin. 
And Griffin is out. To Defensively. Now the corners back off against Hyper. He'll come underneath. Fires complete, short of the first down, and a great tackle. Third down and three. Heupel, plenty of time, flares it, Griffin drops it. OU forced a punt. Adam is blocked, blocked, out of bounds. And Jay Brooks comes through and blocks his fourth punt of the year. Everybody knew where he was. Keep an eye on Jamar Toombs. He's right to the quarterback's left. They'll motion. Toombs stays back in the backfield. Play fake. Ferris keeps it. And not fooled that time was Michael Thompson who against the number one team in the nation. Motion in behind. There's Toombs battling. And OU was ready. Marshall. OU holding after the block punt. Fade to the corner, contact, penalty flag thrown. The air, so you're going to get pass interference. Jamar Toombs is in the fullback spot. <laughs> Toombs battling short of the goal line, and again, but it's going to be a tough option. Ferris touchdown, Aggies strike first. Terrence Kitchens adds the extra point. Is that girl here in Aggieland? <laughs> A 10 point underdog strikes first. The former president, George Bush. Indeed, he is. Savage and Thatcher are back deep now for the Sooners, and Thatcher looks for a right alley. Out to the 30 of the day, Eric Stanford. Heupel flares on first down, and the Aggies are all over Josh Norman. Showing a four-man front, four-down linemen. Pressure blitz, Heupel down the middle, deep, got Norman in a foot race, stumbling down inside the 15-yard line. In the red zone for the first time today. He's going to keep firing end zone high incomplete. Second down and 10. Now it is second down and 10. Four wide receivers for Heifel. Going into the closed end of the stadium. Extremely hard to be heard. Heifel lobs. Incomplete. Now, Gary, let's see what he can come up with here on third down and 10. He's flushed from the pocket in a foot race. Throws incomplete, and the 12th man makes it tough on Hypo. Now here's a young, <laughs> he's going for more endorsements than Tiger Woods, folks. I mean, here it is, a 31-yarder. Got it. Nice answer by Oklahoma. The long pass from Hypo to Norman set it up, but the Sooners settle for a field goal. A year ago, when Oklahoma was so good, they blocked the first, had a fake punt early to control the game. With the wind at his back, it'll go right out of the end zone. It'll come out of the 20 mile. And the Aggies deploy three wide receivers. Now they motion, so that in effect gives them four. Then hand off back to Toombs, and Toombs makes his way to second down and a six. And this time, it is the tailback, Richard Whitaker, for a first down. There's Ferris to Whitaker again. He slipped. Second down. Here's Goins with that end around look. Ferris doesn't look. Snaps it off. Drop. The ball was dropped by Robert Ferguson. Third down and nine. Rolls hard to the right. Incomplete. In the air. If they close in on him, he go for the fair catch. Can try to bounce it again on him, and they do. And the Aggies will down it inside the 35 yard line. First down for Hypo. The Sooners trail it. 
Inside handoff, Griffin. He makes his way to the 39. Here's Heifel. He's chasing a four-point deficit right now. Second and seven. Flares the backs. Down the middle, caught, and short of a first down. Third down and a one, and they quickly went for the first down to move. And Heifel bellowing to make himself hurt. He will be hoarse after this game in College Station. Strong. The receiver slips. A high play student of the game. Someday, regardless of whether he plays on Sunday, he'll make an outstanding coach for someone. On second down, Hypo fires, and he is short of the first down. He needs about a 10-yard wide open receiver right now. Third down and nine, and uh, the except in Norman's snap. case. Right. Ball start on the offense. It'll be a five-yard penalty and remain third down. Or DB. And some of them get down in a three-point. Heupel is back, has plenty of time, can't find anybody. Now he'll try to rush free. Fire! Got it! Dropped, it Dropped the ball on that far side. They look for a moment today. This time, Ferguson hangs it beautifully. And Jones lets it go on in the end zone. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. That! Only when they win. What do you mean? I'm a fool. All right, first down now. Here comes the handoff right into the middle of the line. You can see how far they have to go in our first and ten line. Brought to you by Quest. That's the yellow line on the TV screen. Ferris keeping it himself to the 23-yard line. Notice how much quieter that crowd in the end zone is when the Aggies have the football. And four. Forced to punt. And the front four again. That's exactly what they did. They let the clock run out because they want to get the wind at Cody Skates' is back. Timeout. Aggies lead OU 7-3. Thatcher will field this one at the 35-yard line. He's really dangerous. And he is brought down by the punter, Cody Skates. And they're bringing a tight end in with three wide receivers off to the left. Heupel is going to throw it back to his tight end this time. And Trent Smith, who dropped that one, hangs on Quentin Griffin. Back in for OU. Second down. Inside shovel passes a beauty. And Griffin breaks for the end zone. No down at the six-yard line. First and goal. Here's Griffin. Nothing doing this time. Now Hankwood sends in an extra down lineman here in the shadow of the goal. Heifel could do the quarterback draw if he wants. In trouble. Scampering left and still looking for help. Now fires. End zone. Got it for the touchdown. Curtis Fagan, a seven-yard catch. And OU leads it for the first time. And Tim Duncan adds the extra point. He already kicked a field goal here earlier. So OU leads Texas A&M 10-7. Now, Curtis Fagan with four catches here today. Keeps on working in the end zone till he gets free. Gets bumped, makes the catch. OU leads it. Timeout. They are averaging almost 46 points a game. Goings to return the kickoff from the 11-yard line. Breaks free, keeps his balance, and makes it to the 25. Can throw off of it, which he just did. Going hard to the left. Ferris fakes the inside handoff to buy time and misfires on a wide open Robert Ferguson. So here is second down and 10. And he ends that right now by throwing to Chris Taylor, but nothing to do it now. Throw the ball. Third down now and six. Mark Ferris back in the gun. Greg Porter motions toward the formation underneath. Ferris, though, misfires. He had Porter wide open underneath. And here is fourth down. High fair catch is the signal by Thatcher at the 23. First down now for Heifel. Fires.
fires underneath. Antoine Savage. And now Heifel with a second and six. Gets time and incomplete, so it is third down. Third down and six. Heifel going to run out of it now. Fire back for the first down. Hey, Smith, the tight end on the run. Tanner oh, Joe Montana was beautiful. Griffin battling for a couple of yards into the heart of that Aggie defense. I think one of the great Octobers in the history of college football. Second down now. Drops it off again, and it's caught by a receiver going down. Damian Mackey. Straight back. Got time on the run. Short, I believe, of the first down. I believe he was just short. A quick count, and Hypo can go straight ahead, up under center. And the Aggies know it. Here he comes, and they hit him. Now they pull him back. I don't think he made it. The Aggies were ready for that maneuver. And then here is Mark Ferris. Hit his first two. Since then, he's been struggling. That inside hand up, big man. Tunes explodes for almost nine yards. Second down and two. Ferris to fire. Middle incomplete. And the penalty flag is thrown again. Like this. Like this. <laughs> this is your style. Come here. Uh, yeah, it was Joe Weber is the running back. And here is Weber. Did not surprise Torrance Marshall. Here's that in the round. Chris Taylor spins away, fumbles out of bounds, Aggie football. Ball went out of bounds on the fumble. Uh, on third down, the Aggies are 0 for 4. They now face a third and nine. He recovered his own fumble and went right back down on it. They need 18 yards. I'm surprised that Brent, it's dead down man. I think it could be Jake. Gets set, fires in zone. Incomplete Oklahoma football. And now it's Josh Heupel and the powerful OU Sooners back on the attack. Griffin, the receiver, to the 40-yard line. That's a date with Josh Heupel in OU. Middle, intercepted, picked off by Jason Glenn. And Jason Glenn is inside the 35-yard line. Not the only pass he has intercepted. First down and 10, and now can Ferris and the Aggies do anything? Completed pass that time to Ferguson. Ferris, snap it off, dropped. Would have had a first down, and the ball was dropped. Third and three. The Aggies must reach the 24-yard line. Ferris to throw for it. He's got it underneath this time. First down, Robert Ferguson hangs on. Inside the 25-yard line for Ferris and the Aggies. There's that roll again, and this time he throws, complete to Richard Whitaker. Second down and four. Fake to Toombs, option look. And OU not being fooled at all. Ferris fires for it, incomplete. They want a flag for the time. Terrence Kitchens, who is quite a story this year, after having seven kicks blocked a year ago, most of them low, he's 13 of 16. This for the tie. 37 yards. Got it. Number one, Oklahoma 10, Texas A&M 10. Timeout. Terrence Kitchens now. Kickboxes a line drive this time. Hey, Jack, get out there. <laughs> get him to practice again, fella. The New Look Sooners with Josh Heifel at 
the trigger. In trouble this time, and a wrecking cruise all over him. Underneath. Ferris now 6 of 14 for 42 yards. Gonna pump fake fire sideline, got him wide open. Comes to number nine, Bethel Johnson. That's a real good point, because first base is to his left, all right? Exactly. Now Ferris rolls right. In a foot race, gets rid of it and gets it complete to Whitaker. For the 10 yard line. They can reach the seven yard line for a first down, and first and 10 is brought to you by Quest. And they pound it for the first down with Big Jamar Toons. Toons again. He wants it. He wants it to the three yard line. Imagine with 2,000 pound horse, imagine the difference Jamar could drop 15 pounds. That's some of my handicap horses. That third down and go. Quick snap, end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. On a beautiful throw to Robert Ferguson. Well, he's dropped the easy ones and caught the hard one. And a big timer on that reception. On the offense. Touchdown's good. It'll be a 15-yard penalty. To attempt uh, this 35-yard extra point. Yep. Offside on the defense. It'll be a five-yard penalty. A 30-yard uh, extra point. And we've got it. Still 19 seconds, and remember Thatcher and the rest of the Sooners know how to return kickoffs. Eric Stanford, who's made one tackle already here today, representing the student body. They kick it on the ground to bring seconds off. And a short, recovered at the 16-yard line. The winning here, Colorado. And Heupel and OU say, let's just get out of here and go in and talk about it. So that'll do it. We've come to the end of the first half. Stoops was very concerned about this game. He confided to his friends and his staff, this will not be easy. And it has not been. 17-10. Down we go to Jack Aru. Jack. And you better believe the Sooners will go to attack as the 12th man, Eric Stanford from Waco, ready to lead the kickoff team down. No you elects to come out. Down at the 12-yard line. And our the leader and the unofficial Eisman. Trophy exit polls, if you will, hands it off on first down, and Griffin battles to the 21 yard line. 31 on Nebraska, and now in a dark fight. Second down. Griffin. And he is jumped by Royland. Elects to change it up with a hand signal. Got it off. Lobs the fade. Incomplete. And a penalty flag. Pass interference on the defense. Penalty has been forced from the previous spot, 15 yards. Griffin. Penalty flag on the play. Calls holding. That's what it is. The two defensive ends. Inside shovel pass worked in the first half, works here. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Second down and 12 for the Sooners. Heupel, middle, dime interception. And the Aggies have the second interception of the game. And the third OU turnover. As Terrence Keel, a strong safety. They also blocked the punt. First down for the Aggies and two rumbles. First down, Texas A&M on a powerful run. In noise.
Boise College Station. First and ten. Short drop, Ferris snaps it off. Complete to Chris Taylor, who crosses the 30-yard line. Well, Jack, the substitution, Thatcher back into the defensive backfield, and Toombs plowing ahead. Ferris gets time, fires wide open. And down at the five-yard line, Robert Ferguson. Toombs is off to Ferris's right. Here's Toombs. Still battling. Almost the two-yard line. Now, the last time they did this, Toombs still got the call. Ferris in zone. And he was stopped short of it. Inside the one-yard line. Toombs is at tailback now. Celebrating right now. They've got their own scoreboard and everything. You know exactly what the score is. Good. The Aggies drive down for the touchdown. Jamar Toombs to the end zone. 24 10. Timeout. Feel about the possibility here as we watch the kickoff of Oklahoma perhaps being upset. Kevin, what does that do to the bowl plans as we watch Josh Heupel? who has really been battling this crowd noise here, Gary. Absolutely. It's really limited the offense, and Hype is so good at reading the defense and changing the play. And Griffin somehow comes out of there just shy of the 25. Eight seconds. Gets it off. Flush, Jamison on him, throws, incomplete, and uh, now third down. They need five yards to keep it going. And they're forced to punt. Great punt. Here's Jones from the 25. Looking for the sideline and not going to get it. It is 24 to 10. Oklahoma has surrendered 21 unanswered points. Texas A&M, and here is Toombs. Ferguson's been an interesting story, Gary. Ferris snaps it off, complete foot race, and he's got the first down, Greg Porter. We want to thank you for the promo, Commissioner. <laughs> we'll be here, right? <laughs> yes, right? I hope you guys are there. We're absolutely, in Austin, we wouldn't miss that one. First down and 10. And here is Toombs, and speaking of big ones, gets 700 yards in this week. <laughs> Second down and 12, and Ferris with a nice play fake goes high though that time, and it will be. In Cleveland at night in January and <laughs> December, if you can handle it. <laughs> Third down and 12. Fires intercepted. There is his first interception of the game, Michael Thompson. Gives OU a life here. Michael Thompson really read this play and beat the receiver to the spot. Now Hypo. Inside handoff to Griffin who breaks free. Just short second down and three. Hypo quick. Pass to the outside. They get the first down. Put it in the hands of Antoine Savage. And Heupel is eyeing that freshman corner over there several times. He'll come with the, the running play with Griffin. He is now being asked to cover Andre Wolfolk off to Heupel's left. Sammy Davis out with an injury. And Heupel looking, couldn't find him, and now throws underneath. First down, OU. Coming to a secondary receiver, Matt Anderson. the call cuts back and the Aggies wrecking crew is ready with Ronald Flemons. Blitz look here and Josh is changing the play. Here it comes. they come. Hypo the lob at middle. Caught. 
inside the 10 yard line by Antoine Savage. This guy is very difficult to play. Eiffel waits for someone to break free. Incomplete, intended for Andre Wolfo. Available to him, holding on the defense. The hold occurred on an eligible receiver. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. They line up right behind Heifel. They fake it to him. Heifel's going to throw it. Incomplete. Second down and goal. Forced to throw it. The crowd wants grounding. Third down and goal. He's got him up here if he wants to bump him on. They're running in that direction with the wide receiver. A penalty flag is thrown. And yeah, we're going to replay. Was it Frank Romero? The crowd rocking. Here's Hyper. Gonna throw short and see what they got with Savage. Nothing going. Down at the 10 yard line. And take the points. 27 yarder. Patrick Fletcher is the holder. And he's got it. Well, Commissioner, want to thank you a lot for dropping by. Good luck the rest of the way with the Big 12. It's really been exciting. Thanks, Brad. You guys do a great job. And the more's ahead of us. 24-13. The Aggies lead it. Timeout. <laughs> to kick it off after the field goal by Duncan. Goins and Harris. Back deep for the Aggies. Here's Harris. Drops the ball. Loose. Falls on it. But just about the 10-yard line. Faces some anxious minutes now. The Aggies need the first downs. Keep the ball away from Hypo. The down with the big fella for a couple of yards. Here's second down and eight. Incomplete as this mark, but Cameron says get the first down, Daddy. Going long, got an open man, and he overthrew Bethel Johnson. Here comes Cody Skates trying to drive it out. And Thatcher looking for field position. It'll be a short field for Heifel. He'll work from the Aggies 42 yard line. Josh Heifel. And the Sooners ready to go back to work. Heifel keeps it on the run. Down at the 33 yard line. So we come to the end of the third quarter and we'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Second down and two for the top rank, the blitz in the round and they cut the blitz off that open corner. First down Curtis Fagan from first down and ten now. A push and a block. Griffin squirts into the secondary end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! <laughs> the wind is at my back. Anyway, here it comes. Here's Heifel. Got time. Looking open, man. I prefer to go for two. <laughs> <laughs> it was Matt Anderson, the tight end. I'm just a one-point guy, you know. One at a time. One it's at a time. 24-21. The co-defensive coordinator, along with Venables, was a defensive coordinator for Spurrier down in Florida when they won the national championship. Four the in court for Oklahoma in the second half. They won for 65 yards. Short drop, going to throw. Incomplete, and then they got him in second and ten. Man, I want him to line up and try to come at me again. Here's the Whitaker breaks free, still going to the 35. A first down before Marshall can bring Richard Whitaker down. 
On first down, Ferris is going to throw it. Man, beautiful catch on the near sideline as Mark Ferris hits Ferguson. Goins is in the slot, comes in motion. Coming back around on the end around, it's going to be Goins looking daylight. Out of bounds. And Ferris backs him up into the shotgun. He's going to throw it. Far side, Goins drops it. Goins. Put him draw. Dives. I believe he may have just gotten the first down. About a football short. Now, fourth down, you got to go here, right, Gary? I, I think you do. McKinney, number 77, is a very good offensive shot. Oklahoma in a tight goal line. Here's Toons for the first down. Breaks free. Still on his feet. Toons still badly. Toons. Toons. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown. You talk about a tombstone. 27 yards. And he may have buried OU. So this will be a 35-yard extra point attempt. And he's got it. Terrence Kitchens adds another one. The Aggies love it. And you got to love a young man, Toombs. He's had a little problem with marijuana in his background, with alcohol in his background. And ladies and gentlemen, this run is worth a couple of million when you go to play on Sunday afternoon. The balance. The power, the determination, the package you love. And Jamar's mother enjoying every moment of it. Aggies lead it by 10, but a lot of time left for Josh Heupel. Timeout. And because the kickoff's into the wind, OU figures to get a return. Mackey. Down at the 22-yard line. Folk. 13.27 to go here for Josh Heupel. Here's Griffin searching daylight, and Griffin comes right back. To Second down and one. He's got the bubble screen down here. Get Griffin again. But that baby. Heupel fires on first down to Savage, who's at the 36-yard line. Had the battle for just... Left defensive end may have broken as Heupel got through him on the outside. He's at the scrimmage line, crosses it, keeps it, <laughs> and then steps out at the first down marker. Undefeated and number one ranked Oklahoma trailing Texas a and by 10 as Josh Heupel fires first down at the Aggie 41-yard line. The ball at the Aggie 41. Heupel. Pressure to the right. Going to take it out of bounds for a loss. The unofficial leader in the exit polls for the Heisman Trophy. And on second down, he'll throw it in underneath. And the Aggies jump the tight end, Trent Smith. And here's third down and 10, a huge play for both sides. A three-man rush. Heifel fires near side out of bounds, I believe, or did he catch it? They mark it that he caught it. He was in the air. Like he dropped his back leg back as he caught it. Up in the air, just taps oh, down his left play. What a beautiful catch. play. What a Inside the 30-yard line. Heifel on a fake slips down. <laughs> Second down. Near for... Josh Heupel, the Sooners need nine yards for a first down. Heupel fires for it to the 20-yard line, short of the first down. Now Heupel is perfect in this drive. He's five of five for 36 yards. And he puts it right back in the hands of Fagan again, who into the teeth of the crowd at the closed end. First down, and it is Griffin to the 11-yard line.
Plenty of time. Dropped. Must reach the four-yard line for a first down. Hyper. Time sprints left. He's going to keep it on the run. Dives for the first down. He's got the first down for Oklahoma. Here's first and goal for Heifel. Checks the D. Here's Griffin. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Hang on, everybody. This is going to be another of those finishes in college football. So Duncan makes it a three-point game as the Sooners go 77 yards in 15 plays, and they took five minutes and 53 seconds, and now they're going to need the ball back. And this is the first time that anyone's taken them to the fourth quarter, which is where R.C. Slocum wanted to get them. So coming out is Goins. Going slips a tackle. Still going. Breaks free. AM now in need of a rally. Intercepted. Marshall picks it off. The big linebacker. Still going. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oklahoma regains the lead as Torrance Marshall from play of the season for the unbeaten Sooners as Duncan adds the extra point. And Aggie Land just a little bit quieter than it has been for the last couple of hours. Got to give it up to John. We saw Drew Brees go after the guy the right way. <laughs> but a first down and 10 now for the Aggies. And Ferris has to shake off that last pass. They come back with Toombs. And a field goal certainly won't help now in the last six and a half minutes. Ferris and the Aggies down four. Yeah, Saw incomplete. He threw high to Robert Ferguson. Oh, would that be a huge call? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, now he's forced from the pocket on the run. Lobs. Caught. Midfield. Greg Porter. Six minutes. They trail it by four. First down and ten. So then the Rod Affair is going to throw off the look. That's it. Right from the second. Ferris from the gun. Got his receiver. Trying to break free. Gain a few more yards. And he is out of bounds, though. Stop. They say shotgun, and that's big tunes right off to the quarterback's left. He gets the call. Tunes barreling. Tunes first down inside the 35-yard line. Here's Ferris. Goes deep and high. Caught at the 10-yard line by you know who, Robert Ferguson. The tunes. And he's back there on running back with a first down and goal, and here he comes again. He's got the handoff, and Weber to the four-yard line, where it's still no tunes. First to throw for it, incomplete. Remember, a field goal won't help him. Michael Thompson. Comes with him, right down the bottom. Right underneath that graphic, he's right there. Fourth down, incomplete. Chris Taylor, the intended receiver. OU takes over on downs. Oh. The Aggies are without Glenn. They're without Davis on that defense. And here comes Griffin, who has one for two scores today. Anthony. 2.40 on the clock. Third down and nine for Heifel and the Sooners. 
Nagy show blitz. From the end zone, drops it off. It's complete. Savage, no first down. OU is forced to punt. What a play by Jay, Jay Brooks. I partially blocked. Field position coming up for the Aggies. It was touched at the 43. So. Ferris goes deep. Jump ball, second and ten on the incompletion. Ferguson defended by Jones. Comes back to the right side. Right through <laughs> the third down and ten for the Aggies. Sacked. Fourth down as Roy Williams, the strong safety. And a flag. Prior to the snap, now substitution remember. infraction, yep. breaking the huddle with more than 12. There's his back. fly for the centers. Oklahoma pulls it out. Marshall with an interception. Dashes in for the winning touchdown. So this time, a big A to the OU defense. RC and Stoops meeting in midfield. And remember, Tiger Woods is coming up next. 35-31, ABC Sports Online at ESPN.com.